Hi, I'm Scott Ellis, Luke the Art Johnson Boss. Today we are talking about slipping pegs and how to fix them. Many people use peg drops, but we recommend using Hydrozyne. Alright, let's get started. The pegs are a century old design. They're tapered and use a friction fit. So this end of the peg is about two millimeters larger than this end of the peg. And then the hole through the peg box is cut with a taper. And then as you tune and push them in, it creates that friction, which allows the peg to grab itself. Assuming the instrument and the pegs are made out of a quality material, this tried and true method that's been developed over centuries should last and maintain itself very well. However, due to weather, inclement changes, humidity, and just wear and tear, these pegs can start slipping, start sticking, start causing tuning problems, tuning stability issues, and there's a few ways to address that. Uh, one way is peg compound, which swells up the wood in the holes, causing that to stick and stay stuck. Um, we highly recommend not using these, um, just because they can cause the pegs to seize and just become completely untunable and unturnable. Uh, we recommend Hydrozyne. Um, this is a combination of a few different materials, wax, graphite, uh, talc, check the ingredients list. All right, let me show you how to put the hinderzine on. All right, first you have to loosen the peg and remove it from the instrument. So carefully loosen the string all the way, unthread it from the hole in the peg, and remove the peg. As you see, there's a few shiny spots where the peg has been in the peg box and rubbing against it. So you take your hydrozyne and make three perform marks on it. If your hider paste is new, it might fall apart a little bit. That's completely fine. So that's a good liberal amount. So now we put that back into the peg box. Turn it a few times. And wipe off any excess that you could easily reach. And then you restring it being sure to wind it properly. To wind it properly, stick the string through the hole, give one wrap on the smaller side of the peg. As you see, I'm on the treble side of the C string, and then bring it back around and wrap it. Being sure to keep your string on the bridge while you do so, as to not scratch the varnish. And while, you t while you're tightening it, be sure to have nice evenly spaced wraps. This is easier when you have some tension on the string, just with your hand as you're non-turning uh, hand. And being sure to push in as you tune. This allows the friction to work and help the peg grab itself. And then just do another. You might hear a crack sound. That's just the windings collapsing in on themselves, giving them a good grip on the peg. And you're all good to go.